Hi guys, welcome back to Hatching Chicks. I'm Melanie Brook, the Education Program Coordinator for Less Hills Agriculture in the Classroom. Less Hills is a regional effort of the Iowa Ag Literacy Foundation. We're so happy you joined us today. Today is episode four, Incubation Day 10. Today we're set up a little bit different. We're going to be candling our eggs. Now, if you're watching today, please go ahead and type in the comments where you're watching from. We'd love to know how far our video has reached. I've had parents and teachers tell me that their students and their kids have been watching and that's so exciting. I'd like to say hi to Anna and Sam and so happy you've been able to watch our videos. So today is the egg development of day 10. I'm sorry, today is the development of the chicks. This is day 10. Their features have been much more refined. You can see the eye and the beak. You can see the head. You can tell the neck, arms, the leg, and the feet. Our embryo is getting much larger inside the egg. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a regular flashlight off of my smartphone in order to candle the eggs. Now there are special candlers that you can purchase, but on the advice of an FFA advisor, uh, she's used just the light off of her smartphone. So we're gonna have that work today. In order to trap some of the light a little bit better, I'm gonna place a rubber O-ring just on top of the flash, right where the egg, right where we're going to set the egg. Now the eggs are in the incubator behind me, staying warm. And who remembers how warm they need to be? Well, if you said 99.6 degrees, you're right. They need to be at 99.6 degrees for incubation. And incubation is keeping an organism at favorable to conditions for growth and development. Now the eggs will need to incubate for how many days? Our hatch cycle for the chickens, and you can see behind us, um, on, the, on the shelf there, it's a 21 day hatch cycle from set to hatch. I'm gonna go ahead and get an egg out of the incubator and I'll need to turn the light off so it's very dark so that we can see the egg. And bear with me for just one moment as I'm getting my flashlight started. It's gonna be really bright, so if you wanna turn away for a second, watch your eyes. All right, I'm taking the first egg out of the incubator. I'm gonna place the large side of the egg down so that the light can shine through it. The dark mass is where the embryo is. I'm gonna See if I can turn it just a little bit so you can see. You can see veins in the egg and the embryo is quite clearly defined. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer for you. So what we're looking for is movement. We're looking for the chick, which is a live and living thing inside of the shell to be moving. I can zoom in just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to use my pencil to point out the embryo. And there's movement. You can see the dark mass just starting to move. So at this point, if you remember, the chicken's heart is beating 
and the blood is pulsing through its veins, its wings and its legs will move and stretch. Now we don't want to keep the egg out of the incubator for too long, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one back and grab a second egg. See if I can... Again, placing the large part of the egg down on top of our light. I think you can clearly see the yolk here. And as I turn it, the darker embryo I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Oh. If you can hear that beeping and turning, that's our automatic egg incubator. It does turn every 45 minutes and rotates the egg so that the yolk doesn't stick to the side of the shell. Still trying to move it so that you can see the actual, there it is, the actual embryo start to move along. And just to make sure my camera's in focus, I'm going to turn on the light, give it a chance to focus, and turn it back off real quickly. So we've got a good picture of the vein, and you can see the embryo right here, and there's a little bit of movement. I hope the camera is catching that. Oh yeah, there it is. Excellent, hi little chick. All right, so this is a really exciting day. I'm so glad that you were able to watch with us today and uh, that you'll keep tuning in. Now there are some excellent egg candling videos online if you're more interested if you're interested to see um, some better uh, views of what the eggs look like on each day of the development so be sure to tune in tomorrow we'll continue recording live at 1 30 tomorrow central standard time thank you and have a great day